Okay, guys. So to, in today's lesson, I want to show you this jazz chord movement that goes like this. This is what we will do. We will learn this movement in the key of F, and after that, we will apply it in a couple of gospel songs as we do on this channel. Okay. So once again, the movement goes like this. Now, I said we are in the key of F, right? But you can see that my my bass note is on the G. So we want to apply this on the two in the key of F or in the, on the re in the key of F. So let's just say that in this video, we want to learn a movement to the two in the key of F, okay? And this movement combines a lot of wonderful techniques from tritones to all sorts of chords. It goes like, right? It goes like. Some bizarre movement. This is not like this kind of movement that we do. Those kind of patterns, no. So now let's start learning the chords one by one. Yeah. And before then, I want to welcome you to Music Empire, the channel that spreads the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the talent He has given us, like the talent, the, the skill that He has given us. We want to hone our skill. That is why we are found here on this channel. Okay. And also we have a website um, down in the description below. There, or you can just type musicempire.com it will come over there we have a lot of wonderful piano courses from contemporary gospel course to ear training course to even Ghanaian high life and praises Ghanaian worship so many wonderful and detailed courses are found on our website that will really bless you okay if you want to know more about our courses just visit our playlist just look at our playlist and go to announcements the playlist known as announcement all the snipers or the except of these videos courses are over there so just go through those videos okay yeah, and you'll be blessed okay so now let's start with breaking down those movements i believe everybody everybody can play f. F, f f is like everybody's favorite key right so i don't need to break down the scale of f i don't need to break this down so the movement itself let's let's take a look at the bass note first or our left hand first okay so i think it starts from and let me see Yeah, so it starts from the 7, that is your C, right? To the flat 7, that is your tall, to the 6, that's your La, right? So it's like 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, that's all. Okay, so then from, from the 6, we come to the third, or your Mi, and then your flat 3, that's the more. And then your 2 itself, that is the Re, okay? So it's like uh, T, tall, La, then Mi, more Re. Or you can say 7, flat 6, 6, 3, flat 3, 2. Uh, I think the numbers are. Are more complex to say than the tonic so far, but it's all good, okay. So let's start. This is how I start. I first of all start by playing a single note, which is a five or the so, so okay. You hit this note alone first before we start. So after hitting this note, I come to seven, okay. Now, if you check very well, this is what uh, the tritone of a seven look. The tritone of any key is, is is made up of the third and the, and the flat seven, right? Or, or the the seventh. So if we go to the key of E right now, you will see that the A flat is the third of E, and then the D is the flat seven or the tall. So in our local language, we say a tritone is formed in any key by playing its me tall. And you can invert it to make it what's tall me, but I don't have time to go through all of these things. That is why getting our courses will really help you, okay? Yeah, I think these ones are found in the ear training course and also the contemporary gospel course, like the explanations behind these courts or the mysteries behind these courts. So the first thing I do is to construct a T tritone or a tritone on the seven, which is this, okay? Yes, which is this. So I have the... The seventh tritone, okay. And if you look at it well, too, it's, a, it's, a, it's an E seventh chord. I, assuming I add the five to it, it becomes an E dominant seventh chord. But even by taking away the five, it's still the same chord, an E seventh chord, okay. So it's still the same as what E tritone. Yeah, I, do, I really don't want to go into theories right now. The next chord over the over the um, the flat seven, or, or or the tall or the E flat is what the E flat. 7 flat 9 so which is an e flat dominant 7 chord with a flat 9 okay where where is the flat 9 where is the flat 9 this guy makes it the flat 9 because this becomes your 9 right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this becomes your 9 so this guy makes it the flat 9 yeah okay 
Yeah. So what I want to tell you is that learning, especially the theory, is very important. I have intentionally placed this software here so that you can see the names of the courts. But you see, you can choose to choose the names of the courts. The day that a software will not be available, you will struggle to mention the names. That is why it's very important to learn all of these things. Okay, even though the software is available to make life easier. But it's important to know how courts are really constructed. So that is why I keep saying that our courses will really bless you. Okay, so don't stick to only softwares. Learn. Learn. Before these softwares came into existence, people were able to learn all of these things without the help of softwares. Okay. So on the flat seven, it's just like play just play an E flat octave on your left. And on the right, I just have let me say the two, four, flat six, and seven. Right? Or re fa and then C and then a T. Okay. Yeah. It's a very simple chord. Okay. So the first one is a tritone. Sorry. Okay. And then so the first note that we played was a single note, that was the 5 or the C, before we strike our E, 7th, to this, and then we have our 6th, that's our La, right? So on the 6th and D minor 7, you have the 6th and a stretch to the 1. You should be able to do this. If you're not able to do this, just simply play an octave and you'll be fine, okay? So play this. And on our right hand, I have the, uh, what do you call it? The A, right? A or the three, five, six, one, or A, C, D, F. Okay, that's your sixth chord in the key of F on the La. So we have. Okay, just practice it slowly like that. You'll be fine. Now the next set of chords we want to look at is what the three flat three and the two. Or we have Mi, Mo, Re, and this goes like this. So we have so on the me or on your third you have this chord yeah now look at the screen you have what a dominant ninth sharp 11th chord okay yeah i don't have time to explain why it is so okay so uh i think we need a chord right now so on my left, I have, look at this carefully, I have a seventh on my left, okay? So I have the A, which is a three, and then the G, which is a two, or your Re, so Re and Re, right? And on the right hand, I have the Fi, Z, Tor, sorry, Fi, Z, Tor, and then a Re, okay? So I have the Fi, Z, Tor, and Re, or what? Or what? Or we have flat five, flat six, flat seven, two. Yeah, that's a chord. So this is a three chord, the key of F, okay? Then we have my favorite among amongst all of them. That's that's on your flat three or the on the on the A flat. So I have the more and then the D or A flat and your G G flat or F sharp. And I have the and I have the F major chord, the second inversion of the F major chord on my right hand. So okay, so so we have so far we have then like this I, I just love this one. Then on the two you can just play a single five again. You play a single five again before you go to the two. Okay, so it's like um um okay so Now let's see how I played a two after playing this single five or single two. Did you hear the grace notes? So let's learn the the left chord first. The chord on our left first. I have the two six and four. It's a G minor chord. This is a G minor chord. Okay, it's a G minor chord. But you see, I've, I've voiced it in a different way to form a stretch. And so now I have the two. Six, four. You see, one day we'll take our time and learn more about chord voices, okay? Yeah. Good. And then the right, the right chord is the right hand chord is very simple. It's just it's just six and three, right? Or la and me. But the grace note makes it more interesting. So it's like so if you want to make this grace note very simple, begin by playing the six. And not the three but the two. So 
Okay. Then quickly do a switch from the two to the three. So. Okay. So. Okay. Pan. So as a pan, I'm like. So just 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 remove this one and then place your finger here. But let it be very fast. So that it turns like this. Yeah, maybe, I don't know who you are, but maybe you may not get it instantly. But I can assure you that practice, you get the same feel that I'm getting over here. Okay? Yeah, and, and, and this simple thing alone can, 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 change, can change the whole music. Like, instead of doing... I did what? There's a difference, even though it's the same thing. So sometimes we, we really get confused and we'll be asking ourselves, um, why, why is it that I'm playing the same chord as somebody, but I'm not getting the same feel? And sometimes we think that um, maybe the keyboard that we are using is inferior compared to the keyboard the person is using. No, it's not true. It's not true at all. I have been to a lot of occasions where I went to meet a PSL keyboard there, like these kind of small, small weddings. Like I was attending as a guest, but I'll go and meet a small PSL keyboard there. Now we know that the PSL cannot be compared to these Nord and Yamaha keyboards and, all, and those kind of stuff. But by the grace of God, I can play the PSL in such a way that if you are listening from afar, you may not believe that I'm, uh, um, you can play such nice scores on the PSL. The thing is that it's not only about the keyboard, but it's about my touch. So look at the way I'm playing this chord, for instance. See? Just, feel, just, just listen to this one. You see, I'm doing, I'm rolling. You see, and, the, and then the, the, the energy, I, I don't know whether it's an energy. I don't know whether it's an energy, but when I'm, when I'm playing the keyboard, I naturally don't stress. Like, no, I, I, I don't, I barely do this kind of things. You see, I, I, I prefer to play it in a smooth way, so, yeah. And the keyboard has been made in such a way that it responds to touch. This wasn't part of the lesson, but I'm just adding it, okay. The keyboard has been made to respond to touch. So you can do this, see, I haven't touched any volume control, but look at this. You see? And, and steady my real finger very well, not the software, not the MIDI cross. Steady my real finger very well, okay. You see, I'm not hitting it too, but now I'm able to what, naturally increase the volume. Look at this. I can even do this. Look, if you don't listen to the volume, you may think I'm try I'm hitting the keyboard, right? But are you hearing, are you hearing any sound? Okay. So I just want you to. I hope you understood just a little demonstration I did here. Learn touch control on the keyboard. I think I might have to dedicate a whole lesson on it, okay? So that's how come I'm able to get those kind of feels, like... Okay. Yeah, we'll, one day I'll dedicate a lesson to, like very soon, not one day, very soon, I'll dedicate a lesson to touch controls on the keyboard, okay? Yeah. So this is pretty much the, the chord movement itself. And there are countless songs that you can put what you have done into. And um, because of time, I think we have to shift that to part two. So obviously our next lesson after this video will be that part two, where we will do a practical application. There are a lot of songs that have a two or a re in, two of us. There are a lot of songs that have a two or a re inside. And I can assure you that even though it looks like a long progression, you can still fit it in any song that has a two. And so that is what we will do in our next lesson. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And turn on the notifications. The moment I post the next video, you get a notification, okay? And also try and share for others to be blessed as well. Okay, this is free. This is free. You only spend data, but technically it is free. So try and share so that others will also be blessed as well. And don't forget to visit musicempire.com. Okay, you'll be blessed as you visit there. Use the link in the description to visit our website or just type musicempire.com. Okay, I read your account. So, thank you very much. So, thank you very much, guys, for staying with me. God bless you so much. And let's meet in our next lesson.